Coffee, tea. We can't alcohol, we can't drink it. Can't smoke weed, can't smoke cigarettes. Since when? Because always, that's how it is. <laughs> Don't do it, got it? But for real, Mormons don't drink alcohol because it says no in the Word of Wisdom. Ian, where did we get the Word of Wisdom from? The Word of Wisdom came from singing words of wisdom. Came from Paul McCartney when singing the song Let It Be. <laughs> um, actually, no, the Word of Wisdom. <laughs> Heber J. Grant as a Tuff Benson and Paul McCartney. <laughs> the Beatles. So the Word of Wisdom came by the prophet Joseph Smith in the year of 1831. What happened? Joseph Smith is with the high priests and there's just smoke everywhere and it's just really hard to communicate and they're just going. Emma Smith? was cleaning up tobacco <laughs> off of the ground. Wasn't Men wrong. didn't clean yeah. in the 1800s. Emma so was a little upset. Emma Smith, Joseph Smith's wife, was like, honey, this sucks. Fix it. Yeah, so, and so Joseph Smith did. And Joseph was like, yeah, I don't feel very spiritual with all of these, you know, splashes of tobacco and alcohol and whiskey in my dining hall. So he asked the Lord, and the Lord actually gave him a health code called the Word of Wisdom. And originally, it was for the high priests of the church, which is really interesting because lots of members of the church think, they, they, they think the Word of Wisdom has been around since 1830. But actually, for a long period of time, it was more of a guideline for people like, look, if you want to be spiritual, you should probably follow this health code. And it works! Yeah. If you don't drink alcohol, you can feel the spirit better. <laughs> That's scientifically proven. Also, you don't get drunk. And you don't make bad decisions. You don't drive around and crash into things it's like cheaper. deer. You don't wreck a Maserati next to a kids or kids. Actually, deer run into cars all the time. It's cheaper if you don't drink alcohol or coffee or tea, because then you're not buying it. And I mean, I buy post him. But like, Jesus drank wine, so like, why can't y'all guys drink alcohol if like he drank wine? wine like, was like, different. Church, like seriously, like, meth like, like what? <laughs> Yeah, so that's the funny thing about it is that the word of wisdom isn't actually something where we're like, well, we're not following Jesus Christ because we don't drink wine, so we're not technically. No, the word of wisdom is actually just new revelation mm -hmm. provided to us. It really has nothing to do with Jesus turning the water into wine. It has nothing to do with whether it was okay back then or not. It's just modern revelation. You open the book of Leviticus, it says not to mix fabrics and you can't eat shellfish. And now let me tell you something. I enjoy shrimp like everyone in this room, okay? <laughs> You know what? What's it gonna the do? laws back then were for that specific time period. Much like how the word of wisdom is only for our time period. Okay, it's not supposed to transcend forever. It's just supposed to be for us, for our safety and our benefit. Yeah. Helps us stay safe, helps us stay healthy, helps us not die, helps us save a lot of money. Well, it doesn't help us not die. We're it gonna die. It helps us not die. You can't get alcohol poisoning if you're not drinking alcohol, and you can't get black lungs if you're not smoking cigarettes. But you can't get hit by a bus no matter what your health. So don't walk in the street. Yeah. Some fun facts. The word of wisdom became a policy of the church in the early 1900s with Heber J. Grant. Before then, you know, actual priesthood holders could were smoking and they were drinking. And actually, something interesting back then is it wasn't like, oh man, you're drinking. You can't give that person a blessing. It was actually like, you're drinking. Hey, this woman needs a blessing. Can you still help me out? It wasn't a commandment um, for the whole church to follow. And so people freaked out about that. They're like, what? Members of the church were drinking? It was not a worldwide commandment. Now it is. It's something that we have to follow. Do things in moderation. Do not drink alcohol. Don't drink coffee. You know, those types of things. Yes. And that also applies with 7-Up, mainly because it's awful. I like 7-Up, but uh, also I've been definitely. drinking green tea, so it's fine. What You've been drinking? drinking green okay. tea? You've been drinking green okay. tea? It's not that I've been actively drinking green tea. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's that on accident, it's, it's in Snapple. this like Snapple. juice drink that I, it's not Snapple. It's like in one of those like smoothie yeah. drinks Everything and it, there's a bunch of green tea in it. Apparently, I don't know how much. I don't know Chai what tea. it is. So lots of people think that Mormons can't drink any caffeine because we choose not to drink coffee and like most teas. Um, but that's not actually true just because what we're choosing to do is not get addicted to things. We don't want to be reliant upon anything um, just so that we can be only reliant upon God and the gospel. Um, so if you want to drink a Coke, drink a Coke, but if you're drinking like 12 monsters to get you through the day every single day, probs want to reevaluate your decisions and decide if you're addicted to that. Yeah, so the word of wisdom is not just a physical like law, it's a spiritual law as well. So the reason we don't want to get addicted to those things is so that our spirit can actually function. Because if we're reliant upon something that's temporal, are we really going to be able to be connected to Heavenly Father? Like, is that even possible? 
every law that God gives us has a spiritual blessing and also has a physical blessing. Sure, we'll be healthy because we're not drinking. Sure, we'll be healthy because we're not eating loads of things. But also, we're going to be a little bit clearer in the mind. We're going to have knowledge that maybe we didn't have before because the Lord is going to be open to giving us that information because we're open to him. The word of wisdom keeps us healthy. It keeps us happy. And it's a great thing. I'm very, very thankful for it. Comment below if you're thankful for the word of wisdom, if you're not thankful for the word of wisdom, and if you think I'm breaking the word of wisdom by drinking that thing that has green tea in it. Ready, set. Thanks for watching. Make the word of wisdom great again. No, we will not say that. <laughs> Subscribe below, and then there's also these videos over here that you can check out from before. If you have any of those juice drinks that you drink that doesn't have green tea in them, let me know. Yeah, so like if you if you have like a playlist of drinks that Shelly can have. <laughs> that aren't green tea. It's called a refrigerator, pal. <laughs> I call Let it a playlist. Let me into your refrigerator. <laughs>